How far away is Voyager 1? A message from Earth, traveling at the speed of light, takes over 22 hours to reach it. Light, the fastest thing in the universe, needs almost a full day to travel from here to there. Launched in 1977, Voyager 1 has traveled farther than any human-made object in history. It is our silent emissary, a tiny speck of human ingenuity drifting through the cosmic ocean, carrying a golden record filled with the sights and sounds of our world. Voyager 1 is now over 165 astronomical units from Earth, 165 times farther than our own star. It has left the protective bubble of our Sun, and is now navigating the true void between the stars. The data it sends back is a postcard from an unknown frontier, rewriting our understanding of the universe. For over four decades, this resilient machine has endured the harsh realities of space, yet it continues to communicate with us. Its faint signal, captured by the Deep Space Network, is a testament to the engineers and scientists who built it. Voyager 1 is not just traveling, it is exploring with instruments still functional, measuring the conditions of a place we once only theorized about. Every packet of data it returns helps us understand our place in the galaxy and the nature of the space that separates us from other stars. Its journey is our journey. Voyager. One story began with a rare planetary alignment in the late 1970s, making a grand tour of the outer solar system possible. NASA seized the opportunity, launching two spacecraft, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. Their primary goals were to study Jupiter and Saturn, their rings, and moons. Voyager 1's trajectory prioritized a close flyby of Saturn's moon Titan, even if it meant skipping Uranus and Neptune. The spacecraft were marvels of 1970s engineering, equipped with scientific instruments and powered by radioisotope thermoelectric generators, nuclear batteries that enabled their longevity. Voyager 1 launched on September 5, 1977, from Cape Canaveral, 16 days after its twin. Its path was faster and more direct, ensuring it would reach Jupiter first. Alongside its instruments, Voyager 1 carried the golden record, a gold-plated copper disc with images, sounds, music and greetings in 55 languages. This interstellar message in a bottle is a greeting card to any civilization that might one day find it. Voyager 1's mission was a bold gamble, pushing the boundaries of robotic exploration. In March 1979, Voyager 1 arrived at Jupiter, transforming our understanding of the gas giant. Its cameras revealed the Great Red Spot as a massive storm and discovered Jupiter's faint ring. Most astonishing was Io, Voyager found it to be the most volcanically active object in the solar system. After Jupiter, Voyager 1 used the planet's gravity to slingshot towards Saturn, arriving in November 1980. It provided our first detailed look at Saturn's rings, revealing thousands of ringlets and intricate structures. The close pass of Titan confirmed a dense, nitrogen-rich atmosphere, even denser than Earth's. This critical flyby bent Voyager 1's path northward, ending its planetary tour. Its new destination, the stars. With its planetary encounters complete, Voyager 1 began the Voyager Interstellar mission. Its new goal, explore the edge of the solar system and the space between the stars. In 1990, at about 40 AU from the Sun, Voyager 1 turned its cameras back for the iconic pale blue dot photo, showing Earth as a tiny speck in the vastness. After this, the cameras were powered down to conserve energy. Voyager 1's instruments continued sampling the solar wind and charged particles, as scientists watched for signs of the heliosphere's boundary. The spacecraft ventured into uncharted territory, where the solar wind weakens against the interstellar medium. Year after year its radio signal grew fainter, but the data kept coming. The Deep Space Network was upgraded to maintain contact, the mission evolved from rapid planetary discovery to a long vigil, waiting for humanity's first probe to cross into interstellar space. Voyager 1 pressed onward, a patient scout at the edge of the sun's domain. The first major boundary Voyager 1 encountered was the termination shock, where the solar wind abruptly slows as it meets the interstellar medium. In December 2004, at 94 AU from the sun, Voyager 1 crossed this turbulent region. Its instruments detected a dramatic slowdown in solar wind particles and a rise in temperature and density, a cosmic traffic jam. The crossing was complex, with Voyager 1 passing the boundary multiple times as solar activity shifted the shock front. Afterward it entered the Helios sheath, a chaotic, turbulent zone at the edge of the heliosphere. Here, the magnetic field became disorganized and the flow of particles changed. For nearly eight years Voyager 1 traveled through this buffer zone, 
scientists watching for the next great boundary, the heliopause. The data showed a gradual increase in galactic cosmic rays and a decrease in solar particles. The final frontier, true interstellar space, was getting closer. Voyager 1 was on the verge of leaving the sun's influence entirely. In August 2012, at 121 AU from the sun, Voyager 1's instruments registered a sharp drop in solar particles and a spike in galactic cosmic rays. This signaled it had left the sun's protective bubble, but the expected magnetic field shift didn't occur puzzling scientists. The mystery was solved by the plasma wave instrument, which detected a solar shock wave causing the interstellar plasma to vibrate. The measured plasma density matched that of the interstellar medium, confirmation that Voyager 1 had entered interstellar space. The magnetic field anomaly is now thought to be a local distortion at the boundary. In September 2013, NASA announced humanity had sent a probe into the space between the stars. It was a quiet, a profound step for exploration, as significant as the first steps on the moon. Voyager 1 had crossed into the galaxy beyond. Voyager 1 is now exploring the interstellar medium, the thin mix of gas, plasma, and dust between stars. For the first time, we have direct measurements of this environment. Voyager 1 detects galactic cosmic rays at full strength, providing crucial data for future interstellar missions. The plasma here is cooler but denser than inside the heliosphere. Its plasma wave instrument continues to detect oscillations, allowing scientists to measure the density of interstellar gas. The magnetic field remains a mystery, still showing connections to the sun's field. The heliosphere's boundary is not smooth but a complex, porous interface where solar and interstellar fields interact. Voyager 1 is revealing a magnetic highway, linking our solar system to the galaxy. These discoveries are forcing us to rethink how stars interact with their surroundings. Voyager 1 is our laboratory at the edge of the sun's reach. Today, Voyager 1 continues its lonely trek, sending back whispers from the void. Its plasma wave system detects a persistent, low-frequency hum, the background noise of the galaxy. This is the first continuous measurement of interstellar plasma density, revealing subtle turbulence and structure. Voyager 1 is mapping interstellar weather providing a baseline for our galactic neighborhood. Its cosmic ray subsystem gives us the only direct measurement of local interstellar cosmic rays, vital for astrophysics. Comparing data from Voyager 1, Voyager 2, and probes inside the solar system, we build a 3D picture of how the Sun's magnetic shield modulates these particles. The mission is a race against time, as the plutonium power source decays, losing about 4 watts per year. Engineers have shut down non-essential systems, and the spacecraft now operates at temperatures colder than it was designed for. Yet, it endures. The science team hopes to keep at least one instrument running until around 2030. Each day of data is a precious gift, a final chapter in one of humanity's greatest stories of exploration. Voyager. One's journey from planetary explorer to interstellar scout is a story of scientific triumph and human ambition. It has reshaped our view of the solar system and given us our first taste of the galaxy beyond. From Io's volcanoes to the quiet hum of interstellar plasma, Voyager 1 has delivered the unexpected. Its success is a testament to vision and engineering, outlasting its original goals by decades. The data it sends back is among the most valuable in science, providing ground truth for once speculative theories. Voyager 1 also carries the golden record, a time capsule and message of peace from Earth. Long after its signal fades, it will drift through the Milky Way for millions of years. It represents our desire to explore and reach into the unknown. As we celebrate Voyager 1's journey, we're left with a profound sense of accomplishment and scale. Having taken this first robotic step into the galaxy, Will humanity ever find the will and unity to follow?